If V-Ray is the Swiss Army knife of ray trace renders, then the Arnold renderer is the samurai sword. And its development has been a collaborative effort between Solid Angle and Sony Pictures Image Works. Originally, oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm not off book yet, so this is a disturbing development. Oh. <laughs> Originally created by Marcos Fajardo in 1998, the Arnold render, Marcos, I, th I thought that's what's happening. The Arnold renderer is a path tracer designed to render very complex scenes efficiently enough to be used in productions that require fast turnaround for finished effects. Sony Pictures Imageworks integrated Arnold into their animation system, starting with the movies Monster House and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Then Fajardo's company, Solid Angle, continued to adapt the technology and make it more accessible for other platforms. And I'd like to show you Dr. Jim Kajia's rendering equation that is the foundation for Arnold's technology. Yeah. Let me see here. You use it, and you carry the two. Yeah, that, that, that checks out. Yeah. Arnold's memory efficient single pass architecture is a pure solution with a totally stripped down, high powered engine. And what took days of rendering has been reduced to overnight. It's been used on blockbusters, Iron Man 3, Doctor Strange, and Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them. <laughs> Sorry. In 2013, the film Gravity won the Oscar and the BAFTA for VFX. Can you guess what it was rendered with? It was the Arnold renderer. Uh -huh. And I bet you didn't know this. It was named after Arnold Schwarzenegger as a nod to its brute force approach. People used to use the Steven Seagal renderer, but it was discontinued after it accidentally kicked a production assistant in the face. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> to Marcus Fajardo for the creative vision and original <laughs> implementation of the Arnold renderer, and to Chris Culla, Alan King, Tiago Ease, and Clifford Stein for their highly optimized geometry engine and novel ray tracing algorithms, which unify the rendering of curves, surfaces, volumetrics, and subsurface scattering as developed at Sony Pictures, Imageworks, and Solid Angle SL. The Academy. <laughs> the Academy presents a scientific and engineering award. Gentlemen, to the stage, please. <laughs> Hi, good evening. It's a great honor to be here amongst all my colleagues, all my friends. Um, I've been working on Arnold for the last 20 years, and um, although I'm the public face of the software, this technology could have not been made without the help of my entire team at Solid Angle and my colleagues at Sony Pictures Imageworks. And uh, not just the five of us uh, who are here today, but uh, my friends uh, um, Alex Conti, Angel, Oscar Anson, Brecht, Ilian, Ramon, Peter Shirley and many others who we've been learning uh, along uh, the years. Uh, Arnold is a global effort. I've learned this technology from universities across the world, Germany, Japan, uh, Denmark, many, many places around the world. And that global collaboration, you know, it's something truly special. And I, I, I would like to continue to work on, on this technology for many more years uh, with all of my friends around the world. So here's the, my hat off to all of these researchers around the world uh, continuing to work on ray tracing. Thank you.